Hello again everyone and welcome back to another video. I'm your host Aurelius and today we're going to be going over the Rift Mountaintop and more specifically what you can do to prepare for it. There are a few things you can do right now, especially if you haven't fully completed the Rift, although I will admit a lot of you have already done so, so this video may not specifically be for you. Without any further ado though, let's get right into this. Starting off with pretty much the only known prerequisite in order to actually access the mountaintop, you're going to need to get the Vampiric Time Charm. Now this is a culmination of pretty much every other time charm that you've gotten in the Rift, and in order to get this one you need 6 Blood Badges and 3 Wilted Berberus Bunches. Now in order to get the Blood Badges you need a lot of materials, you can see them on screen now, the Crux Motions are pretty much all of the Cruxes put together, and you also need things like the Leech Supreme Fragments and the Bakhte Fragments. So this requires that you do pretty much all of the content in the Rift. If you want a guide for the other Time Charms, which are also prerequisites I guess by that logic, I do have a guide already made, and you can watch it down below. Basically, if you have not started the Rift, I highly recommend doing so, because not only is it a very fun experience, but you will need to finish it in order to go to the mountaintop. So don't be that surprised if you're somebody who's like, I don't know, all the way at the chicken and egg time charm, and then the mountaintop drops and you're like, well why can't I go to the end? And that's because, well you haven't finished, you need to get this time charm. I'm gonna be honest, it's not that much of a time investment, it takes a few hours to reasonably get, and if you do it, you will be all the better for it. There are a bunch of other things though that I highly recommend you do. Hey guys, it's Jade here. There's a fire sale. Please go use it for 5% ah, Fire sale, use code rail. Ah. In terms of other things you should focus on before the mountaintop drops, I really do believe getting a better armor set might be necessary. If you don't already have the upgraded anti-bite scarf, the lively sepulcher chestplate, the leggings of the coven, and the snake in a boot, I highly, once again, recommend getting them. A lot of the upgrades here just require things like blood badges, I think for the helmet you need a scarf studies, for the leggings I think you need leggings of the pack, some things you need to bring into the rift as well, but generally the crafting recipes aren't too too bad, and if you're already going to be working on the vampiric time charm, it won't be that terrible to get these items. I will say the wiki is actually a great reference for these items, the recipes are very clear there, you can see exactly what you need, and I will have it linked down below if you want to look at it. It really is helpful for stuff like this, but if you want to, you can just use the in-game slash recipe system, there's nothing really wrong with that, so yeah. I know a lot of what I've been going over so far has been a lot of grinding, and there is more grinding to come, most notably with the Enigma Souls and a lot of the accessories you can get in the Rift. Many of these you get from the quests in the Rift, and I gotta say, a lot of these quests are incredibly fun, you should just do them anyway. They are pretty rewarding, and they give you some nice upgrades. But also for other things like the Crux Chronomicon, you do need to kill like 100 of every single type of the Cruxes, and that'll give you 220 seconds of Rift time, which is actually pretty significant. There are other things here like the Defective Monitor, the Ring of Broken Love, the Vampire Dentist Relic, which is a drop from Vampire Slayer, which I highly recommend you get. There's a lot of things here that you can utilize and get on top of the Enigma Souls, which will also just give you a ton more Rift time. The TLDR here is that you should get as close as possible to maxing out the Rift. I understand that that's kind of a silly thing to say, like in a video about how to prepare for the mountaintop, but it really is an important thing that you should do, because having more time, even if it's just a few seconds, is the difference between getting a quest done when it first releases, like when you first go to the mountaintop, and having to go to the hub and completely log back in, and even though that's not really that big of a deal for most people, it is definitely going to be a slight annoyance if it happens frequently. So make sure you get the majority of the stuff in the Rift done. Down below I'll have a few things linked, for example I'll have a video linked for the Enigma Souls, might link a Montezuma Soul video there as well, but once again, just collect everything in the Rift, there's a lot of guides out there, and there's a lot of information in game through your Rift guide as you can see, you can pretty much look at all of the souls and how to actually get them, and all the quests that you need to do as well. The last one is actually not related to the Rift at all, but more related to the Wizard. If on release day you don't have very many bits, and you don't have a good way of accessing Grand Experience Bottles, well it's not going to be a great time for you. 
especially if you're on an Iron Man profile, I highly recommend grinding these out now so you can have a large supply when the update drops. And if you're going for booster cookies, you're going to do it through that method. You know, we just got a bunch of bits bonuses, then grind out bits. Just make sure that whenever the mountaintop drops, you're not stuck with zero bits and absolutely no grand experience bottles because then it's going to be a little bit harder to get into the rift and it's definitely going to be quite a bit more expensive. Overall, the mountaintop itself is going to be definitely an interesting update, giving us a lot of lore and information about the game, and also the best necklace in the game, supposedly. I've gotta say I'm pretty excited for it, hopefully it ends up dropping within the next month or so, that would be amazing, but we'll just have to wait and see on that. If you have any questions down below, feel free to leave them there, I'll reply to as many of them as I can get to. And at the end of the day, my name is Derelius, thank you so much for watching this video till the end, and look to the future, fellas. I'll see you then.